Hospitals across the state right now are in crisis mode with respect to COVID-19. From Michigan to Wisconsin. We're, we're used to sort of rallying and getting through hard times and, and pandemic has not given us that chance to come up for breath. And beyond, hospital systems around the U.S. are struggling to get a handle on the latest surge of COVID-19 cases. It certainly becomes concerning for how well we can manage all those patients coming in uh, in hospitals that are getting more and more full. As intensive care units fill up, hospitals say their staff are growing increasingly frustrated. They feel unsatisfied with the care they're doing at their level, and they're doing their level best to provide, knowing that it is still suboptimal. And many have joined the great resignation that's affecting every industry in our country. Putting hospitals in desperate need of additional help. Does it matter if we have a thousand bed hospital if we only have a hundred nurses? Um, what we need right now are folks at the bedside who are ready to roll up their sleeves and help us out on the front line. Health officials in Wisconsin say they're requesting five teams from the federal government or 100 people to come help provide aid to their hospital systems. The state is just the latest of many that are having to make similar requests. This surge comes as health officials work to get a better understanding of the latest COVID-19 variant, Omicron, prompting them to double down on requests for people to get vaccinated. I'm hoping that we achieve a vaccination rate and a protection rate that's higher than we've ever seen, um, that that people you know, do the right thing and wear their mask to their kids' basketball games, or else we won't be having basketball games. It doesn't matter if we have a thousand bed hospital, if we only have 100 nurses. The toll in hospitals around this country is still staggering almost two years into this. That was Meg Healing reporting.